Hey guys, have you ever shot a music video, lit it incorrectly, and then ended up with footage like this? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix it and make it pop. And how's it going guys, Josh here aka Lufemi, and I'm going to tell you guys a secret regarding how I get my footage to pop during post-production. The reason I'm usually doing this is I probably did a poor job lighting the footage during production. So rule number one, doing things correctly in production will save you countless hours in post-production after the fact. So one way that I like to light my main talent is with a soft light, emphasis on soft, and at a slight high vertical angle. And also on a 45 degree horizontal angle with the camera marking zero degrees. This is the brightest light and it's called the key light. The fill light is slightly dimmer and it fills in the shadow that's caused by the key light on the other side of the talent. And the hair light is behind the talent and what it does is it creates an outline of light that helps pop the talent from the background. I made the mistake of not following any of these incredible tips regarding how to make footage pop during my last project. I recently had a VFX laden Instagram video project locked down that ended up changing last minute to a music video. This resulted in me not being as prepared as I would have liked to have been regarding the lighting package that I was using. So we only had two lights, a small aperture light panel and a 120D. The 120D was meant to be a cross between a hair light and a fill light, and a light used to cast a pattern along the back of the wall using an inside fence that was at the location as a kookaloris. The light panel was pretty dim and I was attempting to use it as a key light. Basically my lighting setup didn't work, I feel like due to my lack of lights, my main talent wasn't popping from the background and the footage just came out really flat and drab. So what did I do? I went into Adobe Premiere and I used its ability to max effects. Quick side note, in After Effects you mask layers, but in Premiere you mask effects. I know it's weird, but in this tutorial we're just going to be using Premiere. Open up Premiere and then put in adjustment layer over your footage. Create a circle mask in the adjustment layer's opacity effect, click on the stopwatch, and then track that mask over your moving talent using keyframes. Don't quite feather the mask yet, we're going to get to that. Go into the color workspace and then go into the Lumetri color editing tab. Go into basic correction and then up the exposure a little bit. Not too much though. And then using your shadow and black sliders, you're going to bring back the darkness in some of the darker areas of the footage. Then use the waveform Lumiscope in Lumetri scopes to make sure that your blackest black isn't below zero and your whitest white isn't above 100. This is because crushing your blacks and blowing out your whites will diminish the image quality. Lastly, you can try adding a look in the Creative tab. I like Blue Steel. To add a look on top of the other color adjustments that you just did, make sure that you add it on top of another adjustment layer. If you try to add a look on the same adjustment layer, for some reason Lumetri just screws things up. Lastly, remember to add the look on the creative tab and don't make the mistake of adding it onto the basic correction tab. Why? Because you can't do this. Control the intensity. Bring the intensity down to somewhere below 100%. This is because 100% usually adds the look on a little bit too thick. All right guys, we're gonna take a break and pay some bills. I feel like a lot of us neglect sound design when it comes to our post-production workflow. I'd like for you guys to check out the Instinct Cinematic Trailer Sound Effects Pack that's on my website, LuxuryLeaks.com. This pack contains tons of epic, droney, vibey, impactful, epic sounds that I use in all my edits. And lastly, there's another link below that's going to show you how to get unlimited downloads to my favorite transition, effects, and VFX packs for only $33 a month. You got to check it out. All right, guys, that's it. I want you to see how the footage looked like originally, and look how it looks like now. I followed a virtually identical process when I edited this video a few weeks ago. This is how it came out. I am Diaz. Monumental. BNEs, monumental, uh, monumental, monumental, everything is monumental. With the D and DNM, I get conversation heavy. They weren't ready for me, they were happy, everything was steady. Had to shake the genre up in this country, especially too many acting like that they don't rap, man, I don't get it. Actually, I do it's cause the talent doesn't represent the status that they have. you ever had an experience where you have to fix footage in post production? Tell us about it in the comments below. If there's any other topics that you want me to cover on this channel, you know where to put them in the comments below. Please like this video, please click subscribe and click the notification bell so that you know whenever I drop new content. Thanks so much for watching as always guys, and remember to keep it chill.